Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, it's a really short video but I want to show you what I did. So my husband and I traveled all the way to Florida. I had mentioned this trip to y'all before and um, we went to Walt Disney World. So we got the four day hopper tickets and we were exhausted. The fourth day park was Epcot. And in Epcot, they have different areas, different countries. And one of those was Japan. So we went to one of the areas where they were selling all these kinds of kawaii goodie stuff. And I went in the store, I tried to film as much as I could, and I could not believe that they also sold a little bit of Sanrio items. I got to see Hello Kitty items being sold there. To my surprise, I really was not expecting to see anything Hello Kitty in there whatsoever. I was expecting a lot of kawaii, a lot of Japan items, uh, and as you can see in the store, they did sell a bunch of stuff. And it's like, how can you not want to get everything from that store? So this is what I saw, and this is what I purchased. seed kit Thank you. 
know what would be awesome? If they had it to say Disney World or Epcot or something, you know? I know. That would have been so awesome. Yeah, and a little thing, huh? Okay, so you have this one and 20 bucks. I guess it's not bad. You have the little ones and these are 11.50. You have different ones. Wow. So oh yeah, yeah. So they're not bad. And then Melody, and what does she do? She's like a water culture or something. And we have some Toki Doki stickers and I'm taking this one and I can't decide. I think I'm gonna just get a little one. I'm gonna get a little one. I'm gonna get this one. You get, wanna get one of these little plushy ones? No, because it's too big. I, I don't really like plushies, but these are so cute. So I'm gonna take it. Okay. Oh, they have bags. Oh, this is cute. It's like a funny pad. And it is cute. And let's check out the price. 40 bucks. This one is a small little handbag, really cute, and it is, yikes, 38 bucks. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Okay. Utensils. And oh, sorry. I believe these are like our AirPods. Okay. Hello, Hello Kitty with her little kimono. Oh, it says it's a musical instrument, I said, but I don't know what it is. Oh, you you go. So I have my little bag. So I did. I only bought three items, guys. I didn't go overboard. There was quite a few items there, but I didn't uh, want to go back to uh, to our RV and uh, now where we're gonna put all this stuff. So in some of the items I've already seen before, some were extremely brand new to me, um, but either way, I didn't wanna also carry everything throughout that trip. So it was there in Epcot Center, Walt Disney World, and I didn't wanna carry everything around the park because it was so so hot it was still the beginning of the day but still I'm glad that I was able to at least get it on video for you guys to see even though I was not able to purchase everything in that store now uh, these are the items that I purchased and I do understand that um, the Universal Studios does have I believe a separate just Hello Kitty store to include the one in Hollywood um, we didn't go to Universal Studios and I knew that I would have found so many great things for Hello Kitty but we just stuck to Walt Disney World and that's all we did we just visited those four parks but nevertheless this is what I got and let me show you I ended up getting uh, a sticker pack and this is from Tokidoki. These are scratch stickers. So it's just one sheet of sticker and these are what they're calling the scratch stickers. So if you can see how um, Hello Kitty and is next to like a bubble, different shape, part, cloud or star or diamond or something and you are supposed to scratch off the gray but what you're supposed to do is on the other side it does give you instructions on how this works so basically what you're going to do is you're going to write a message of some kind like it says here you're going to write a message you're going to put the sticker over that message and then you can scratch your little bubble off and reveal that message so you write down your message you put the sticker on top and then when you scratch it off you can see the sticker because these are clear stickers is what it is so I thought that was a cute touch um, this was six dollars and seventy five cents uh, yeah a little pricey for just one sheet but they're very unique I've never seen these before uh, maybe you guys have if you guys have let me know where you've seen them before but I thought that these were very unique and they're tokidoki so I decided to grab one so this is the first item Then I saw a, what it looks like a magnet and I believe this is like a cream soda. This was $12. So let's open it up and see. And truly it is a magnet because you can see all the backing here is a magnet. So she is supposed to be a cream soda here really cute 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 cream soda here I love the shape of the cup and she even has like a spoon inserted there she is supposed to be the actual cream on top of the soda and on top here you see the little cherry that kind of makes it look like if she's wearing a Santa hat here really cute I absolutely love her I've never seen something like this before and I said I need to have that. It was easy to carry around, so I grabbed it. So this is my second item. Then my third and final item is a little plushie. And this is my little Hello Kitty plushie. And she's wearing a beautiful little kimono. I absolutely love her bow. Matching her kimono. And this is a red one and look at the back the detail in the back too she also has that little bump here in the back that they normally have as part of the traditional wear for kimono in japan and she's just so darling so she is like a little uh clip 
plushy and you all know that I don't gravitate towards buying plushies but um, this was just so cute I, I needed to have it and it was very easy to carry around and then of course I did get it in the Japan side of Ep Epcot Center so I thought this was going to be perfect to remind me that we went to Walt Disney World and I got a little Hello Kitty item. It was unfortunate though that I wish that the plushies that they sold there, Hello Kitty or not, that they would have said like maybe in the back Epcot or Walt Disney World or something to kind of as a memento, as a reminder that you were there. But nevertheless, it's Hello Kitty. I'm so glad that I found her. And this is my little new kimono Hello Kitty. I love it. She was $11.50. Not that bad for a little uh, plushie. I believe there were other plushies there. There was another one that was her size. And um, there was a different color kimono, but the red one really got me. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. What I got. And uh, that was it, guys. I did not buy a lot of stuff. I didn't want to lug a lot of stuff around the park. And um, I was just so happy that I actually found Hello Kitty there in my visit to Walt Disney World. So I absolutely enjoyed my visit. Very tiring. Got a lot of steps in, uh, walking around and everything. But... Um, I absolutely loved my trip. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new Hello Kitty video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.